January 29th is when we celebrate the fellow who popularized, but did not invent, the limerick. You know, that five-lined poem that is full of wit and humor, but not all have five lines. My favorite is. There once was a limericker named Nate, who liked to procrastinate. Then there is the one that is credited to Ogden Nash, it is called Young Love. I placed my hand upon my heart. And swore that we'd never part. I wonder what I'd have said. Had I placed my hand upon my head? Then there is the one that I wrote in a high school English class to get out of having to do serious literature stuff. There was a man from Macgu. Who held his breath till he turned pink. I know that doesn't rhyme, but give it time. It will in a minute or two. And then there is the one that I just can't seem to finish. It is a limerick about how things are mispronounced, and the final two lines are. And the ones whom it most annoys. Are those from Illinois. Edward Lear died on January 29, in 1888, at the ripe old age of 75, though he had always been a sickly individual. He suffered from a long list of ailments including what he called the morbids. Today, we would call it depression however, he was able to build on these weaknesses and turn them into skills. While other children were out playing, young Edward was indoors drawing, writing, learning music, and generally being creative, and these are why we celebrate him today. Perhaps one of his most famous and often quoted pieces is They Danced by the Light of the Moon, The Moon, The Moon, They Danced by the Light of the Moon. Two of his best-loved books are The Book of Nonsense and The Owl and the Pussycat, which he wrote for the children of one of his patrons. Lear liked to point out that the anagram of his name was Earl, and that made him feel regal. He was unlucky in love as both men and women rebuffed him. This was the basis for one of his more silly and yet morbid stories about the lonely creature that he called a titular dong. The creature had a long glow-in-the-dark nose and it fell in love with a jumbly girl, whatever that is. Lear wrote, they went to sea in a sieve, they did. In a sieve they went to sea. In spite of all their friends could say. On a winter's morn, on a stormy day. In a sieve they went to sea. Lear was also an excellent illustrator, and he worked for the London Zoological Society making precise and vivid drawings of colorful parrots. Lear did not allow his limitations or handicaps to get in the way of his successes, rather he capitalized on them and that's the very reason why we celebrate him today. Encourage uniqueness and celebrate it too.